Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the CSF 3M from Yamaha Guitars. This guitar features a solid Sitka spruce top with a scalloped bracing system, solid mahogany back and sides, a NATO neck with a rosewood fingerboard and a short scale length of 600mm. The body has a full gloss finish although the neck is finished in satin and electronics are provided by Yamaha's own SRT passive piezo system. The guitar ships with a hard gig bag and has an RRP of £603. There's been a huge increase in interest in smaller travel size guitars in recent years and Yamaha are obviously capitalising on that demand with this guitar but they are offering some higher specs than some of the other guitars out there on the market. So let's have a listen to the guitar now and then come back afterwards for my thoughts. My first impression of this guitar is that it's really cute. I love the small slope shouldered body size and even the slightly quirky bridge design adds a bit of personality to the guitar. The maple binding stands out nicely against the amber stained top and the mahogany back and sides have a rich colour as well. It's a very nice looking guitar. The build quality is typical Yamaha standard, that is to say it's very high. The internal construction is very neat, the finish has been well applied across the guitar and I couldn't find any faults or blemishes anywhere on the surface of the instrument. Moving on to the sound, I really like the tone of this guitar. It's bright and articulate for finger style with a clear and focused sound and it also has an immediate punch when strumming as well. It's responsive and I didn't feel like I had to work hard to get the sound out and despite its smaller body size there's a nice low end thump to it too. The mids are present without being too honky and the top end was crisp and bright without getting harsh. Considering the pickup is a passive under saddle I thought it had a remarkably good sound plugged in. Harder playing did bring out a little spikiness but I feel it's a very usable tone and once it was run through a decent amplifier or a PA I don't think anybody would have any complaints about that in a live situation. Playability is excellent. Obviously the shorter scale length means that string tension is lower than normal, but this didn't result in any buzzes, even with the low action that the guitar has come shipped with. 
I didn't have any problems with the spacing at the nut or the saddle. And the guitar itself is a very comfortable body size to play. And I just felt like I could sit and play this guitar for a long time. It's a very enjoyable guitar to play, both in its playability and its sound. I think this guitar would be perfect for anybody looking for a small bodied acoustic, regardless of whether they need it for any travel needs. The compact size and comfortable neck means it would be great for playing on the sofa, and I also think that younger players looking for a smaller quality guitar would be interested in this model too. At £603, this guitar sits at the price alongside some very popular travel guitars from the big American brands. But one advantage that this guitar has is the all solid wood construction. With a good quality bag and a pickup included, I think the price is very reasonable, particularly when you consider the build quality and the quality of the materials used. I've really enjoyed playing this guitar. The body size is very comfortable to play. The short scale and low action mean the playability is excellent. And the sound is great too. Sometimes travel guitars can feel a little bit like toys compared to their full size counterparts. But this guitar is anything but a toy and deserves to be taken seriously despite its travel designation. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on other social media to be kept up to date with news and new videos. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.